Mark, we end the 2021-2022 season with a defeat. What's your thoughts after that game? Yeah, I'm, I'm bitterly disappointed by the result. Um, I think the, the performance was befitting of more. I think we definitely attacked the game. I thought it was an exciting game. Um, but we, we didn't take the points in the game because we didn't put our chances away. We've created numerous of chances. Um, I thought it was an exciting game. Um, and we've had some great passages of play, but probably uh, we are where we are is because we haven't been able to take advantage of the chances that we create. And we've been punished at the other end. And uh, cruelly at times, but we can always stop that. So uh, plenty of food for thought for the summer. Um, it's a shame that the, the points weren't there. We, we so wanted to reward our fans with a win on the final game of the season, but also I wanted it for the players because there's a young group in there who've been learning on the job. There's been plenty of ups and downs throughout the season. We were stuck together and got the job done, but we just wanted to finish it off in style, and unfortunately we haven't been able to do that, and that, that really hurts me. Uh, leaves leaves a, a sour taste in my, in, in my, in my mouth a little, you know, and that's... That's a shame because the group's really done well. In the end, they've come through. We've all come through for each other. And, and the performance was good as well, which makes it frustrating. And um, Yeah, I probably have to take a deep breath, but you know, it gives me absolute clarity going forward and what we need to do. Um, so sometimes that, that can be a, a good thing going forward. You learn more in defeat. Um, but gutted for the, for the fans and, and for the players, who I felt left everything out there and created a hell of a lot of chances in, in what was an exciting game, and we've been on the wrong end of the result, and uh, that, that hurts. It's the story of our season, really, isn't it? You know, we've had these passages of play and maybe haven't made the most of them, and it's something to build on for next season, potentially. Yeah, the football's a game of both boxes, and we haven't done well enough in, in, in boxes you know, for, throughout the season. And, um, you know, that's... You know, I think it's the story of our season was out there on that pitch today. Some some unbelievable highs, some great passages, some good parts of, of, of play. But we have we haven't we haven't capitalised on that. Um, we've you know been been sloppy and giving those goals away. So it was a good response initially. Obviously, a great goal from Jaden to put us back on level terms. But again, we just didn't seem to kick on from there. Yeah, and that's the shame because we were playing well. You could feel that the, the, we were we were exciting. We were creating chances. You felt like it was we were going to kick on, and we we never quite did. But you've got to score. You've got to keep finding them feel good. Uh, moments. Jaden certainly gave us that and we had plenty of opportunities to do that as well and we, 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 we failed to do that and that's been clear and obvious, not just today but all season as, as you mentioned and that's something you've got to fix but it's one of the harder things to fix and um, you know proven goal scorers and creators uh, you know, are, are hard, hard to come by and hard to find sometimes. Of course with the bumper crowd we had here today with it being shot Super Sunday and the people behind us as well, we wanted to put on a show for them today and it wasn't quite to be today. Yeah, I, I think we've put on a show, we just haven't we haven't been able to get the, get the goals and that's the most important thing and you know, people will probably feel disappointed like we are at the moment but um, look, it's a, a summer now, we can reflect we know, we know we're brutal on ourselves, we know where, where we need to fix and how to do it and now it's time to get to work to do that and um, yeah, it's, it's quite quick after a game but um, you know, preparations and plans have been you know, well underway for a while now. An important moment as well, obviously recognising our Player of the Years and Volunteers of the Year as well, all massive cogs of this important part that is Oldershot Town Football Club. Yeah, no, the, the club don't operate without those people and uh, thank them from the bottom of my heart, the volunteers. Um, the people who helped run this this great football club and and the fans that turned out again today and that's why we we needed that win to reward them all and we couldn't we couldn't deliver it and that's what makes me you know you can see the disappointment in my in my voice and hear it now but um, thank you everyone for sticking by us we've learnt a lot and um, we got to put that we got to put a few things right next season and uh, we look forward to doing it. Of course, it's quite a quick turnaround now from the end of this season, pre-season and next season. You say plans are in place now. What can we tell fans and what can they expect next season? Well, we've got to learn our lessons. Um, we have to freshen things up. There's no easy way of saying that or doing that, but you know, we know where we've gone short. We know what we've got to fix. And uh, to be able to take this club forward, we're going to have to freshen up the squad. You know, you can't keep adding to it. It's, you know, some people have got to go to make way for, for others. Um, the club's... Um, you know, wants to be in a better position. Um, for us to do that, we've um, you know we've got a lot of hard work ahead of us. But one, we're we're excited by the the youthfulness of this group this season and the lessons they've been through and the journey we've been on will stand them in very good stead. I mean, if you look at the team out there, how many how many youngsters, how many academy graduates are out there uh, earning experience? Um, we're going to be in a much better place with the ones that we stay straight away. We're six, seven months into work with them. The six or seven months of them playing men's football, a lot of them have played men's football for the first time. In what is the National League has been the most unforgiving it's ever been this year. Now we've got some experienced players. Our young players have got some experience of doing it. Plus the ones that we add will have 
even more experience and even more quality. So hopefully we can, you know, regenerate the squad in the right way and uh, make sure we're an exciting outfit for, for next season. And of course, let's finish on that because we've just announced that two young lads have made the progression up to the first team. So great moments for them, an opportunity to follow in the steps of like Tommy Willard and Alfie Saunders. Absolutely, there's a there's a clear pathway here. You've seen that this season, um, and you know we're excited to to welcome them now into our into our squad. They've done ever so well to to earn their contracts, and um, you know a big pat on the back for. Um, for the academy staff and, and Waleed and, and Ross who do a wonderful job there in, in providing players and producing players and, and of, of the quality they have and um, once they come into the first team then um, now, now, now it's up to us to further develop them and you've seen the good work with like you said the Alfie Saunders, Tommy Willards, you know Ryan Hall in goal today you know I have to give a special mention to our goalkeeping coach Robbie Yates who does so much work all around, not just the goalkeeping area but everything else you know, he's secured two good loan moves for Ryan, who's got that experience. He's come in and now he's played first team games. And you can see the work that, uh, that Robbie's done with Ryan to really develop him. And, you know, he's, he's took his chance when he's come into the first team. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.